They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to master a craft. With these instruments, maybe less. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 easiest musical instruments to learn. For years, fans and viewers have been asking us to showcase their music. So we've launched SoundMojo as a platform to do that and more. We'll be recruiting, signing, and promoting talented musicians in our videos. And we'd love to hear your music. Here's one of our first artists. your best recorded song via the submission form in the link below. For this list, we're looking at instruments that are not terribly hard to learn and play. We aren't saying that these instruments are easy, far from it. Rather, they're simply easier to learn and play than others. Number 10. Ukulele Often mistaken for a little guitar, the ukulele is actually a completely different beast, and it produces a sweet sound. And the dreams that you dream of, dreams really do. It's also much easier to learn, so there's that as well. The ukulele only has four strings instead of six, so learning the basics and picking up some simple chords won't take too long. With a smaller neck and fretboard, it's also easier on the fingers to make those chords than on a guitar. And when your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? Like all instruments, becoming an excellent ukulele player takes years of practice, but getting a hang of the mechanics can take just a few hours or less. With a bit of practice, you'll be playing your favorite pop songs in no time. Number 9. Xylophone there really isn't much to the xylophone. This percussive instrument consists of various wooden bars, which are struck with a mallet. Due to its nature, the xylophone is very easy to pick up and play. While producing actual music on the xylophone can be very difficult, simply learning the feel and the notes of the instrument will take no time at all. Plus, the bars are laid out in a similar fashion to a piano, so anyone with piano experience should find the xylophone a logical instrument to play. Number 8. Harmonica The harmonica is not only tiny and transportable, it's very easy to pick up. You simply stick it in your mouth and blow, voila, you're playing music. Of course, the harmonica is hard to play well, but learning the basics is relatively simple. You can practice anywhere at any time. Well, maybe not on the subway. Also, the notes are already in key, which is a huge help for beginners. Novices might not sound like blues traveler, but they'll be producing some pleasant sounding music no matter what. Number seven, maracas. How hard could it be? The maraca is a rattle which serves as a percussive instrument and they're quite common in Latin and Caribbean music. They usually come in pairs, and you, well, shake them. And that's about it. It's an easy instrument for children to pick up and play, even if it may get a little irritating, and it makes for a fine companion to rock and roll songs. If Cuban Pete can do it, so can you. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban Pete. I'm the crazy man that gets great. Number 6. Cymbals Actually, no, we take that back. This instrument can be irritating when given to a kid. Cymbals typically come in pairs and are typically smashed together to create an authoritative or frenzied sound. For single or standing cymbals, you can play them with drumsticks or brushes to create distinct sounds and beats. They sound incredible in an orchestra, and luckily for everyone, they are pretty easy to learn. Oh, that's it. Okay, keep going with that, Zach. 
You won't make it into an orchestra with those skills alone, but you're still technically playing an instrument. Number five, recorder. Dwight Schrute would probably kill us if he heard us talking down the recorder. The recorder is very similar to the Irish whistle, not only in sound, but in ease of play as well. Recorders are usually given to very young children in school, as they're cheap, well, the school ones anyway, and they make for a great starter instrument. The fingering on the recorder is quite simple, and it's much easier than other woodwind instruments, like the flute or clarinet. Watch me. I'll do the fingering. Go on. Of course, mastering the recorder is something else entirely, but for casual musicians, it makes for a great introduction. Number four, kazoo. This is certainly an interesting little instrument. The kazoo is a tiny little thing, which the player hums into, rather than blowing into like typical wind instruments, and it results in a very distinct buzzing or vibrating sound. <laughs> It can be challenging to get the hang of the humming, particularly if you have experience with wind instruments, but once you get going, the kazoo is a cakewalk. Sure, some people may consider it more of a vocal enhancer than an instrument, but an instrument it is, and a very easy one to play at that, if a little annoying. Number three, bongos. Have you ever wanted to play the drums but were too intimidated by their size and number? Turns out that you don't need a Neil Peart size kit to sound good on the drums. Just get yourself some bongos and you'll be all set. The bongos are a percussive instrument with a heavy presence in Cuban music, particularly salsa, and they're relatively easy to manage. Like all drums, the bongos are very difficult to play well, but with some practice and a good sense for beat and timing, they make for a great alternative to the more intimidating drums. Number two, tambourine. The tambourine is featured in many genres of music throughout the world, from classic rock to classical music to Turkish folk, and its wide reach may be indicative of its relative ease. The tambourine doesn't consist of much, a plastic or wooden frame, a drum head, and metal jingles called zills. Its small size and ease of transport make this a great beginner's instrument, and while controlling the tambourine may be intimidating at first, you'll be casually playing it in no time. It's a great addition to any song, and it's very easy to pick up and play. It's a win-win. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, triangle. It's a triangular piece of steel which you hit with another piece of steel. We joke, but the triangle can be an insanely tough instrument to master, especially regarding its tone and pitch. However, this list isn't easy instruments to master, it's easy instruments to learn, and it doesn't get much easier than the triangle. Oh! Yeah. The triangle has earned a reputation throughout the years for being a simplistic and somewhat silly instrument, but it's still an integral part of a band's percussion lineup, and you better not miss your cue. Will there ever be a technology that teaches stupid children how to ding a dang triangle? Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Hey!